Welcome back, Sledge here with another Rust tutorial. Today, I'm going to cover the XOR switch. This tier one item costs 100 metal frags to produce and 20 scrap to learn its blueprint. So unless you're stuck all white with just a rock, you'll be able to make these without a hitch. This switch, like the ore switch, has two inputs labeled A and B, as well as a power out. The switch powers on if one input receives power. What differs from the ore switch is this item will actually turn off if both inputs receive power. It should also be a given that it receives power equal to how much the input is getting. So in my example, this single light can be powered by either switch as my branch is set to two on its branch out and 98 on its power out. So if input A is powered, in this case, the branch out, the XOR switch will output two. And alternatively, if input B is powered via the branch's power out, the XOR's power would output 98. Keep in mind, if we, let's say, had three lights all requiring one power from the XOR switch, the branch out power and the switch on the left would only power two of the three lights. So make sure both sides of the input can power on your entire circuit if you plan to use this item. If both the inputs aren't sending power or are disconnected, well, obviously the XOR switch will not send out power. This item is extremely easy to use, and honestly, I don't think it requires an example. I suppose you could simply pretend each switch connected to the XOR is on either side of your base for easy use to turn lights on or off, rather than running to one side or the other just to hit a single light switch. This is both a handy and useful item in any circuit in Rust. Tell me how you utilize the XOR switch in your base. Be sure to drop a comment. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and don't forget to subscribe if you guys dig the content, and feel free to check out my other videos for more tutorials. That's all for today, folks. Happy rusting, my friends, and I'll see you on the next one.